Stop writing code that suffocates itself. Class obsession is turning your code into an unmaintainable mess, chaining you to rigid structures that refuse to evolve. If your classes are packed with excessive logic, dependencies, or redundant fields, you're breeding a code base that's impossible to refactor, and it only gets worse. You've seen this before, one class to rule them all, and in the darkness bind them. A user class that handles authentication, payment processing, profile management, and email notification all at once. A product class that not only stores details, but also fetches stock availability, calculates discounts, and updates inventory. This is class obsession, when a single class hoards too many responsibilities, bloating into a tangled mess of dependencies. And it's not just an organizational nightmare, it makes testing a nightmare, refactoring a dangerous gamble, and debugging a journey into madness. Ever tried modifying a deeply entrenched class without breaking something completely unrelated? Exactly. Ever wonder why gray beards have less hair? Let's imagine a world where class obsession doesn't just ruin your code, it ruins your entire day. Imagine your kitchen was designed like your bloated class. Your fridge isn't just a fridge, it's also the stove, the dishwasher, and a trash can. What? Want some milk? Be careful, because the fridge might also start preheating the oven. Oh, and if you take out the trash, it might unplug everything. Sounds ridiculous. That's what happens in a code base infected with class obsession. Everything is so interconnected that changing one thing risks breaking everything else. Now let's talk about how to break free from this nightmare. I want to break free. How do you know if your class is suffering from class obsession? Well, here's the dead giveaways. Too many responsibilities. If your class is handling authentication, validation, and email notification, you have a problem. Too many dependencies. If your class requires injecting half your application just to function, something's off. Too many fields. A class with 15 plus fields? It's trying to do way too much. Too many methods. If your class has 30 plus method, some of them probably don't belong. Let's look at an example. Here's a user class that's trying to do everything. This class is responsible for registration, validation, emails, payments, and updates. That's too much. We need to refactor and separate concerns. Step one, break it down into specialized classes. We'll extract user profile, user payment, and user notifier to separate concerns. Now let's move payment responsibilities out and notifications into their own class. Now the user class is lean and focused, while user payment and user notifier handle their respective concerns independently. But there is one more problem left to solve. Even though we've separate responsibilities, our classes still depend on specific implementations. Let's make them flexible with interfaces and dependencies injection. Step one, define interfaces. Step two, implement them in our services. Step three, inject dependencies dynamically. Now user service doesn't care about specific implementations. We can swap out email notifier for SMS notifier or PayPal processor for Stripe processor without modifying core logic. And just like that, class obsession is gone. Breaking free from class obsession isn't just about cleaner code. It's about making your entire application easier to scale, test, and maintain. The next time you find yourself stuffing more logic into a class, stop and ask, does this responsibility really belong here? If not, extract, delegate, and inject. Your future self will thank you.